Hi, I'm Dr. V. I'm an interventional pain physician at Bloor Pain Specialists. Today, I will be addressing some common questions about epidural steroid injections. What are the risks associated with epidural steroid injections? Epidural steroid injections are amazingly safe. Statistically, there's about a 1 in 800,000 risk of anything scary. We're talking about paralysis, nerve damage, that sort of stuff. That's the most aggressive estimate, which is safer than walking on a city street or driving a car. On the other end of the spectrum, the more conservative estimates put epidural steroid injections at 1 in 2.3 million for a rate of injury. And these are done so often that those numbers are real. They're reliable over 20 million times annually in North America. Less scary, but more common complications are relating to the needle. So for example, you might expect a pinch. Small, fine, but we consider that a complication. It's a discomfort to our patients. So we use freezing. We like people. If we're gonna freeze the skin, we're gonna freeze the soft tissue, we'll be kind. We might expect a bruise. Again, small, but potentially there. Now patients on blood thinners, should not be getting epidural steroid injections until their cardiologist or family doctor or whoever's managing their blood thinners tells them that they can be off of their blood thinners for the appropriate amount of time so they don't develop a big or dangerous bruise inside. There are complications with infection, or at least the potential thereof, every time there's a hole in the skin, whether it's a scratch at home or our pets uh, scraping our skin or a needle going in or surgery in the hospital. When we're talking about these needles, they are very small. It's a tiny pin. We use a surgical disinfectant that cleans the skin, disinfects everything, kills all bacteria, and that stays on the skin to keep people safe. That leaves people at a rate of infection that is very low. Statistically, about 1 in 10,000 or less. 1 in 10,000 equates to 1 in 28 years if the procedure is done absolutely every day, which obviously it would never be done as such. Some people will have an allergic reaction to one of the components in the procedure. Sometimes it's the disinfectant itself. Sometimes it's the dye in the disinfectant. Sometimes different brands have different colors, pink, orange, brown, and those are dyed that way so that the skin, we can see which areas are clean and which aren't. That's very important to protect our patients. But for in some cases, those dyes will be irritating to the skin, cause itchiness, cause hives, and that sort of skin type reaction. Internally, we use a x-ray dye. X-ray dye or contrast differs between contrast for MRIs and contrast for x-rays. This contrast is a contrast that we use for uh, with low likelihood of reaction, but it's always possible. And that sort of reaction can manifest in different ways. If it does become a reaction, we have the medications to treat these reactions on site. If you have any general questions you'd like us to discuss, please leave a comment below. If you'd like to discuss anything specific about your care, please contact our clinic. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.